Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were in Pewter City and in fact have acquired our... Oh, and there it goes again. Thinks I'm holding a direction when I'm not. Please don't do that. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we have acquired our... 4, 8, 12, 13th badge. And it was thankfully not an unlucky badge. Uh, you were just telling us about the Clefairies and Mount Moon. We'll go there soon enough. What about you guys? You still have a Jigglypuff. Interesting. Most Pokemon get drowsy if they hear a Jigglypuff singing. There are several moves that can be used only while a Pokemon is asleep. Yeah, let me think here. Snore, which causes straight damage. Uh, Sleep Talk, which um. I think uses a random move from your current list of moves. Kind of useless, actually, I feel like, because I... Well, I don't know. I've never actually used it, but I feel like that would not be entirely helpful. Uh, those are the only two I can think of at the moment. Oh, you don't sing anymore. Oh, so it just occurred to me that all the Pokemon Centers in Kanto have been remodeled. It would have been a nice touch if the ones in Kanto looked like the ones, well, in Generation 1 Kanto. Hi, I'm looking for this Pokemon. If you have Meryl, would you trade it for my pincer? I was not aware there was another trainer wanting to trade. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and make note of this. Meryl to Pincer in Pewter. Don't know if we'll actually get one. That reminds me, though. You don't have one either? Gee, that's really disappointing. We encountered, or well, rather, fought against a Charizard recently, which means now we can find out if there are any catchable here or anywhere. Nope. Sorry, Lit. There are no Charizard in the game. None that can be caught in the wild, anyway. Still a chance that... Ho-Oh uh will be swapped for Charizard. But not likely. Yeah, and the Jin and Cinnabar is gone. I was really amazed. Yes? I'm on the phone. Go away! Oh, okay. I like snoozing with the radio on. Zzz. What are you snoozing to? Places and people. It's always places and people. I, for one, enjoy listening to people talk about themselves. There's a notice here. Mount Moon gift shop now open. Well, let's go. Let us go. Let's go. Sometimes it is hard to talk whenever your nose is halfway stuffy and you are sick. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I guess we can battle. I was kind of hoping you would talk about your shorts. I guess you are not that trainer. Okay, so Tingala. Um. Just Fire Punch. Oh, we need to heal still. Okay, Fire Punch, and then we'll go heal. I knew I'd lose. Oh, wait, one more thing. You look strong. I was afraid to take you on. Oh, that's what you were uncertain about. Okay. I kind of wonder... If anybody can make a good Pokemon out of Tangela. Because it is very weak. 
but I feel like there's something you can do with it to make it into an actual good Pokemon to have on your team. Of course, I'm not going to be the one to try to find out. Not at all interested. Okay, there is apparently no trainer there this time. I can run like the wind! That's not going to help you in a Pokémon fight. Unless you're trying to get out of pain. Oh boy, Lickitung. Okay, first thing on the to-do list with that safeguard. And you have Stomp. In that case, Reflect. I think this is a Pokémon that Catfish will be able to handle. Uh, but handle it fast, if you would. Lickitung is already a beefy Pokémon without boosting his defense. Okay, I was planning on having Catfish finish off with Payday. I am surprised that the Lick of Tongue did not use a Lick during any of that. Granted, Lick would not have worked on Catfish. That is a scary thing. Oh, you're gonna uh, throw in some sort of status affliction, aren't you? Well, let's see how well Shadow Ball does. Not well enough. Out of curiosity, how does it compare to Payday? Shadow Ball is a bit stronger in this case. But we'll finish off with Payday anyway. It's either gonna take two Shadow Balls or two Paydays. Absolutely surprised that this Vile Plume did not cause any status afflictions. That is some luck right there. Blown away! I wear shorts the whole year round. That's my fashion policy. Oh, so you're the shorts kid. Ah, the weather's as fine as ever. I am glad to know that the girl who screams at boys is no longer here. For those of you not aware, in Generation 1 and its remakes, there is a girl right about here who, as you walk past her, she runs up to you and screams that you touched her, trying to get you into trouble. It is... ridiculous. Granted, she'll do that even if you're playing a female character, but in Generation 1, you could not play as a female character, and so she was being... something... male hatred something.
Porygon 2. Interesting. That is an expensive Pokemon, therefore it gets Payday. Oh, actually, maybe something better than Payday. As it turns out, that is a bit of a bulky Pokemon. Or maybe not. Maybe Payday just is kind of weak. Another Scyther. That's not going to cause much damage. Well, aside from the crit. Fast Swipe is an interesting attack, by the way. It causes damage, but absolutely cannot KO a Pokémon. It leaves them at one point of health. Really useful if you're trying to catch a Pokémon. Not so useful if you're trying to defeat the Pokémon. It's sunny, but I'm all wet. When it rains, it's hard to get ignition. Uh, we'll ignore the grass there for the moment, because I think there's grass further up. Yep. So what sort of Pokémon are in this grass, I wonder? More Flaffy. This time, it is not shiny. Mount Moon Square. Just go up the stairs. I just remembered... Where are we? Route 3. Hidden items here, by chance? No. That took a little bit of time for me to search through because there's a whole bunch of Route 3 teams. 30s. So I had to get through those in order to find out that there is a s not a single digit 3. Umbreon? Nah, not interested. I would kind of like to train an Umbreon sometime. But not in this game. It is not a great Pokémon in this game. More Squirtle. I should check if there's any Meryl that I can catch anywhere. Let me, let me find out what this battle is, and then I'll check the decks. Well, it doesn't seem like we'll find anything of interest here. So let's see here. That guy was looking for a Meryl. Why is it that just about all the trading trainers were randomized to Pokemon that we could not find in the wild? Only one of them we were actually able to trade. Step right up and take a look. Is it in a book? I mean, I got the rainbow ring. Wing. Which, by the way, is an interesting thing about that. The Rainbow Wing is going to allow us to unlock ho uh oh If we were playing Pokemon Gold, we would instead be getting the Silver Wing to unlock Lugia. Whereas, normally, when we get the Silver Wing in Silver, as you have seen in this playthrough, we get it from the guy who runs the radio station. Whereas in Pokemon Gold, he gives you the Rainbow Wing. That is another reason for my preference of Pokemon Silver, by the way. To get 
Lugia sooner. However, I have Pokemon Heart Gold instead of Soul Silver because I really like Growlithe, and Heart Gold is the only game you get Growlithe. Between the two games, that is. Yow! That's hot! The greatest fire breather in Kanto, that's me. But not the best trainer. And, and suddenly cave. There was supposed to be an entire opening here where there was a Pokemon Center. Was there a cave-in? Actually, no, it, that wouldn't be a cave-in, that would be a cave-out. Okay, we took a little bit of damage from that last fight. Let's try to quickly make our way back to... You know what? Let's fly. Let's fly back to Peter City real quick. And then... Mount Moon is going to be an interesting place, we'll say that. For more than one reason. The second reason is why I was really wanting to stream today, despite the fact that I am kind of sick. But before we get to the second reason, we're going to have to deal with the first reason. There's the first reason. It's been a while, rubber boy. Since I lost to you, I thought about what I was lacking with my Pokemon. And we came up with an answer. Rubber boy, now we'll show you. Alright, surprise boss fight. Welcome back, question mark. If you all thought we had seen the last of him, you were wrong. Oh boy, uh, Graveler. Start off with Reflect, please. And let's not even take shares of that, that thing. Let's bring in a legendary Pokemon. You know, it's interesting to think that me and Rikus are not much stronger than we were the last time we fought question mark. Boy, Catfish, that is some nice speed. You are a speedy feline, aren't you? Okay, next up, man team. Uh, not sure what to do with you, actually. Tempted to bring in Shimmer, but I don't know what sort of attacks you have on hand. So we'll bring in Pinky to cast a light screen. I always have a hard time remembering what that move is called. And that should allow Shimmer to handle that bubble beam. It still hurts, though. But it would hurt a lot more without that light screen. Darn. Paralysis would have been nice just then. Don't crit. Don't crit! Don't! It crit. Boo! Just for that, you get KO'd by a payday.
Primeape. Nope. It is interesting that fighting type attacks are not very effective against poison type Pokemon. Is there a specific reason for that? I feel like there would be a logical reason for that, but I don't know what it is. I just had a thought. When Minky evolves into Primeape, it loses its tail. An ape loses its tail through evolution. Was that on purpose? Okay, Catfish, I think you can handle this one. This is definitely one of those times where it is beneficial for you to be normal type with Shadow Ball. Now let's hope that thing doesn't use hypnosis. No, it it just KO'd itself instead. That is not a thing you will be going against. In fact, I feel like that'll be really annoying, so let's see if we can bring Pinky in to do some setup. So the rest of us don't have an annoying time with it. This might have been a bad idea. Um... Not one of my brighter moments. Never mind. If it's just gonna use wing attack, then I'll just go ahead and come in here and confusion it before it uses Confuse Ray. Not even gonna waste time with Attract. Gold Badge is annoying. Definitely surprising that it is not using... Confuse Ray, though. That's like the first move I would use. Okay, question marks final Pokemon? Yep, I win. Okay, for funsies, you I will go ahead and attract. I'm not entirely sure how much I would enjoy a giant puddle of living sludge cuddling up against me, but as long as I am a poison-type Pokemon by myself, I don't have to worry about things getting too bad for me. I definitely have the rest of this fight in the bag. Maddie says, I guess it might be comfy, like a beanbag chair. I was thinking more along the lines of like a waterbed. Which, as a Nidoran, I probably wouldn't be able to normally cuddle into for obvious reasons. So I suppose a muck would be a decent substitute. I thought I raised my Pokemon to be the best they could be, but it still wasn't enough. Have you tried love? Huh? Catfish, stop evolving! 
Why did I read that? Whatever, I'm sick. You won fair and square. I admit it, but this isn't the end. I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon trainer ever. Because these guys are behind me. Listen, Roboboy. One of these days, I'm going to prove how good I am by beating you. I'm not sure if anything special happens if you do let him beat you. Well, everything here is still low level as they were in Generation 1, so no reason to actually fight anything. So there's a ladder there. Huh, Pupitar. And... And... Exit. Which is this exit? The real exit. We don't want that exit. Rather, there is a different exit that I want here. That is to say, we're gonna want that ladder that we saw a minute ago. For a, a very specific reason. And in fact, we're gonna go ahead and deal with that reason after we come back from this third and final episode break. And when we come back... Oh... When we come back...